What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I've got a pretty good one for y'all today. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Welcome. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time. Now, why do I have two bench-made bug outs sitting in front of me? Well, as far as modern knives go, this is quite arguably one of the uh, best designs in the world. This is a cool knife. It's thin. It's lightweight. It's a great blade steel. Now, this one here, this one is a uh, regular Benchmade bug out. Um, it's an S30B. You can focus anytime. There we go. So it's an S30B. This is a really great pocket knife. I've carried this one quite a bit. I've used it quite a bit. It's, it's actually dull. I, I haven't sharpened it from the last time it was on camera. And that was when I got this one. Well, this one is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive with OD, OD Green scales. As you can see, the design is different on the scales. And the blade is in a gray coating instead of black. It's like a gray stone washed look. Anyway, this was in CPM M4. I really like this one. And CPM M4 is a great steel. Now, why do I have two Benchmade bug outs out? Well, I've run across a knife on Amazon and I was like, holy crap. And I just bought it to see how how it's put together what it looks like how it feels and I, my i'm just curious to, if clones are any good now i understand this is not a bench made but and i understand the price is what it is that says everything about it but it said generic knife and this is what it looked like. This is in now here's one of the things you gotta understand. In the ad it said this was CPM twenty C V. Well, that's a no go. Uh you're not gonna get twenty uh twenty C V for what I paid for this knife. Period. It's just not going to happen. But. What this knife caters to. Is to somebody that can't afford. The $150 base. Bug out. But you like. The design. You like the thickness of it. Um, and everything. But you can't afford it. So I paid $25 for this. And I got to looking at uh, some of the other stuff that it was saying. Excuse me. And um, come to find out it's 428C. Not CPM 20CV. Now, as you can see, I mean, now I've carried this bug out quite a bit. And it doesn't have the, it's not as dark black as the generic one. 
But my question is, I get it. It's a clone. Uh, my question is, is it any good? Now, it's got the access lock. Every feature about it is proper almost. Uh, it's got the jimping right here on both knives. The bench made it's blacked out, but on this one, uh, they're silver. Pocket clips. I had the same kind of look. This one is cut just a little different but has a hue of the uh, original axis lock thumb studs the thumb studs seem a little more protrusive than the uh, original the, the regular bench made The thickness seems to be the same. Oh, there's something that ain't right. It's not centered up right. But like I said, it's $25. And what do you expect for $25? Now, I don't flick out there like a, a bug out. But I'm not expecting it to be exactly like the bug out. They've done a pretty good job. I mean, it really looks the part. Now, the bug out from Benchmade is absolutely tremendous. You can't beat it. It's an iconic knife. And it's going to stand the test of time. It, it is one of those knives that kind of, you know, blew up the knife world, so to speak. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do a paracord test. I had to get some new paracord, by the way. Uh, I figured I'd get it a little brighter this time so it doesn't blend in with the, the table so much anymore. So, if you're new to my channel... I do two cutting tests on the uh, paracord. I do a push through and then I do a slice. I do the slice second because, you know, every knife should slice. It's just the way it is. But I'm going to do the Benchmade CPM M4. I've got a bad wrist. My I've got a torn ligament in my right arm, and I pushed through that pretty darn easily with the CPM M4. Now, I'm going to do the paper test and paracord test with the generic bug out. I mean, it's actually cutting better than the original. That's crazy. That is crazy. Now, 428C is a good steel. I'm going to go ahead and set these bench maids off to the side. See, I can open it with a flick and close them with a, the lock. I can't do that with this one. You know what? While we're doing this, I'm just going to do this. I am going to have to get in here and center this knife. I can I can do it, but I'm going to do it off camera. All right. There we go. Maybe tighten it just a little more. Yeah, a little too much. Cool. 
All right. Now, in case y'all were wondering, these are my tools I use. Weha bit selectors and quarter inch drive. So, let's do this paracord. All right, gonna do the push through. That's not too bad. It's not as good as the bench made, but that wasn't bad. All right, let's do the slice. Ooh, didn't make it all the way through. Okay, well, maybe it's better on paper than it is par paracord. Well, it was a better slicer than it is a on the paracord. So, you, what do y'all think? You know, you ha and don't think with your pocket. Think with other people's pockets. Imagine, you know, you don't have a lot of money, or you're not determined to buy something like a Benchmade bug out. But you still want that that design, that look. Uh, is it worth paying twenty five dollars for for a clone? This is the first time handling it. This is the first time doing anything with it. In my opinion, so far it seems to be okay. Now, that's not saying that over time that. You know, it may wear out quick. But if that's the case, then you're just out $25. And in all honesty, you know, you can get six of these knives to one of these. So, say you wear this one out in six months. Okay, you buy another one. And you've gone through two in a year. Of hard labor hard cutting but you're only out fifty dollars a third of what one of these base models cost this one cost more than that uh, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, this one was like two something I can't remember right off the top of my head right now I got it written down but <coughs> You know, that's a lot of money to some people. You have to think about it like that. Um, is a clone worth it? Well, you know, take a 70s Chevelle, turn it into a Super Sport clone, take it to an auction, and they're just about bringing as much as the original cars. So, you know, if the clone is done right, then I don't mind spending the $25 or, you know, and enjoying it, using it, use it for a tool. You know, maybe you want a bench made bug out, but you don't, and you've got one, but you don't want to mess it up. So you want to keep it pristine. Well, to have the, that look and usability and everything. You know, you could get one of these and stick in your pocket and you're preserving your bug out. But you still have the look, the feel, and everything else out of this. Now, the scales, I mean, they they are honestly on point. They, they feel really, really close to each other. The thickness is, you know, just on point. So let me know in the comments field below, what do y'all think? If, is it viable? I mean, do you think that this is a good solution to saving your good knife or uh, having a skinny wallet and wanting this, but this satiates your need for the time being? I get it. It's, you know made in China, it's a clone, but will it do? 
Well, y'all let me know in the comments field below, and I appreciate you for sticking with me for this long. I apologize if I sound weird. I got sinus issues and been draining for a couple days, and my throat's a little sore, so. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for stopping by. And as I always say, I hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, I hope your gas tank's full. And we'll see you next time.